Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. So, I fixed the problem with the game not recognizing the DLC. I'm not quite sure what was happening, but reinstalling the game helped. Anyway, I had to restart the campaign as a result, so this is an entirely new map. But I went forward and played a little bit to build up the group, to get some gear, to get some experience. So this is not like day one or anything like that. I got nine brothers right now. They are mostly level 2 and level 3. My highest level guy is Guntram, level 3. He's 250-ish experience away from level 4. I got one level 1 dude, but he's about to hit level 2. I got two guys with pitchforks, I got one crossbowman, and everyone else is using a one-hander and a shield. I got two dudes with a hatchet. I got one guy with a cleaver, one with a reinforced wooden flail, one with a spear for spear wall, and one with a pickaxe for destroy armor. And that's it. So, let's continue, shall we? I got 1100 gold, so that's enough to buy something nice, or hire more guys. Let's see what's available here. We got a two skull contract. 160 crowns in advance and 630 when the job is done. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Sounds promising. Do we want to buy anything before we leave? There is a weapon smith in here. I could save up for a nice weapon for someone. Short sword? No. Well, I mean, I could buy a morning star, but I think I'd rather save up for something nicer. Or maybe for armor. No armor smith in here, but I wouldn't mind some better armor. The one I bought with 95 armor costed like 400 gold, something like that. It wasn't cheap really. Anyway, we got the trucks right here. So let's follow them. Yep, dire wolves. That should be okay. But well, let's give it a shot. They can be quite nasty. They are very fast and they got high initiative. So, yep, they will move first. And they almost moved into our melee range. They can do a lot of damage. Let's see if we can kill them. At least one of them before he gets a chance to attack us. Yeah, chance to hit is not amazing. Okay. So, they will move first one way or the other. We might as well move our... 200 guys to the end of the queue to position them a little bit better 40% yeah a little bit low but we hit not too bad probably best if we use shield wall here like so yep same thing and try to flank them on the next turn maybe move this guy in this direction all right, hopefully nobody is going to die, but they could easily kill someone. It will depend on whether they hit or not. Okay, looking good so far. We're fine. All right, we're fine. Geralt took some damage, but he'll be okay, I think. So one dire wolf is gravely wounded. Let's focus on this one, then. Maybe we can kill him. Nope. Come on. There we go. He's almost dead. We might be able to finish him off with a pitchfork. There we go. Nice. He's down. One down. Free to go. I don't think we can kill another on this turn. Probably not, no. But their morale is going down. We got one more guy. Nice. I'm actually going to shield wall. Just to play it safe. Okay, we're fine. They are missing quite a lot. Okay, good. And one of them is bleeding. Let's see. How's their health? Nice. Okay, he's fleeing. We can ignore him. 
I think we got this. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, we got this. It's fine. We pretty much won already. Yep, they are both fleeing. So, it's over. Let's finish them off. Block the way. I run them down. Might as well. It's not like they are a threat anymore. And we can definitely finish them off. Come on. You have nowhere to run. There, done. Grab the loot. And we got some level ups. Yeah, one of our guys only needed, like, literally two experience. And now we can go back to get paid. That's 630, not too bad. And we got 160 in advance. What's happening? You noticed the mud a few miles back. And a few miles forward, he's still there. Bobbing and slinking in and out of sight. A mongrel such as he doesn't follow a band of dangerous men for no reason. Maybe someone is feeding it. Chase him away. Better to put it down now before he steals any of our supplies later. The company needs a mascot. Take it in. Grimwald, you're trained to handle dogs, right? There we go! Well... That's worth how much? Yeah, 200. We just need to equip the dog. <laughs> that sounds a little bit weird, but... Yep, there it is. Hold on, does it really matter? Who's going to have him equipped? Not really. Here. Yeah, that will do. It costs 3 action points. To use, and builds up 15 fatigue. Alright, anyway, level ups. Let's take a look. So, this guy. Malice skill. Only plus 2 melee defense. I think I'll pass on that. We can get some hit points and fatigue. Yeah, plus 4 hit points with no starts. That's definitely worth it. And maybe some resolve as well. We can always increase fatigue quite easily. We got two stars in it. Let's get fatigue. Alright then. As for perks. Probably steel, bro. That's pretty much a must have for tanks. Yeah, it sounds good. There you go. Next up. Plus Primala Defense. Plus 4 hit points. So this guy is a little bit weird because he has 2 stars in ranged skill, but his ranged skill was very low. It's not really worth leveling it up. But he has 55 melee. He also has super low resolve. He is probably going to be cannon fodder in the long run. That's what I expect. That's what's going to happen. Let's give him some resolve, because it's super low. As for perks... I could pick up Colossus to increase his health. Let's just get Steel Bro. Alright, one more guy. Grimwald. Plus one melee skill? Yeah, no. I'm not doing that. Fatigue. Fatigue, resolve and health. It's not worth getting plus one melee skill. Alright. And the student. Yeah, that guy is probably going to be cannon fodder in the long run. I can't really afford to be picky when it comes to recruitment. I'm not that rich just yet. Here, speaking of being rich, 630 crowns. So that's almost 2000 now. I could buy something nice. A 200 flail? No, I think I'll pass on that. Noble sword, 4000. Yeah, that's a bit much. Warbrand. 200 sword. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Who can we recruit? 660. Guy with a spear? No, I think I'll pass. 
I wouldn't mind another decent crossbowman. Or maybe someone with a two-hander and good stats for that. Well, anyway, let's move on. It's not like the money is going anywhere. And I'm going to need more tools and supplies sometime soon. Let's check another town. And yes, I saw that. I'm not fighting them. We got a Toskal contract here. 680. And 170 in advance. Oh, we can get paid per head. Interesting. More when it's done. 910 when it's done. Yeah. Escort the caravan. Three days to the southwest. That's quite far away. I'm taking it. Yeah, sure. The thing about escort quests is that sometimes you just don't get attacked at all. And it's basically free money. We might get attacked by something nasty, but there's a chance this will be basically free money. Okay, something is happening. During camp, Randolph gains plus free melee skill. Oh, that's nice. And he's in good spirit. I didn't get attacked, by the way, and we are almost there. So it looks like this is actually going to be free money. Dire walls, but they are not attacking us. Yep. We got 1000 basically for free. And we got plus free melee skill on one guy. There it is. So, let's see what's going on in here. We got 2300. Okay, there's not a lot in this town. Right. Let's go somewhere else then, shall we? We got some towns to the west. Okay then. So, I think I'm going to save up for a good weapon. A good to hunted weapon, perhaps. We'll see. Or a good recruit. I mean, the money is not going anywhere. There's no rush to spend it. But I would definitely like to get a good to hunted weapon. So, let's check the town. There's a tavern, a fletcher, a temple. We don't need a temple right now. A taxidermist. War dog armor. Okay, yeah, that's actually not a terrible idea, I guess. It's only 50. So, sure, why not? And he got two contracts available. Let's check the marketplace. No good armor available. Okay. We are a little bit low on food. And we should probably buy some tools and supplies. Alright, sure, let's do that then. So, let's take a look at our group. Our morale is a little bit low. Well, I mean, it's neutral, but that is kind of low. Not much I can do here right now. So what do we do without armor? Right click or drag onto a war dog equipped by the currently selected character in order to use. And it's consumed. Okay, sure, there it is. Okay, so let's check the contracts, shall we? How many crowns are we talking about? 360 and we'll get paid per head that's a little bit low escort the caravan two days to the northeast i need time to think about this let's check the other one okay this one is paid way better 740 follow the tracks return the golden talisman yeah let's take this one and he can always take the escort afterwards, because why not? So, tracks to the east. Sounds good. Now we'll actually get to fight something. Looking forward to that. They can't be too far away. Okay, yep, there they are. I don't want to fight in the swamp. Here. That should be good. One brigand raider and many brigand thugs. Yeah, we can handle that. 
There they are. We can also get a little bit of high ground from the looks of it. They don't have anything ranged. That's good. So. Let them come to us. Yep, sounds good to me. And we'll use the high ground. Obviously. Why wouldn't we? You can stay here, that's fine. I need one person over there. Come on, people. Anyone? This guy, preferably. Here you go. There's no need for shield wall, let's not waste fatigue. And he can also set up spear wall. That's definitely a good idea. Let's do that then. Here. That should be quite helpful. And now we can take a shot at someone without a shield, preferably. Oh no, this guy did have a shield. Whoops. My bad. We can, however, ignore the shield. We can try to hit him in the head. Nope, missed. You tried. Move that guy to the end of the queue for now. Nope. Still got that spear wall up. Now we can use shield wall, perhaps. Come on. Don't be shy, come closer. We are right here. I might have to move the crossbowman. Okay, looking good. Yeah, let's maybe move the crossbowman just to be safe. And reload. Might want to kill that guy who's trying to flank us. And let's unleash the war dog. Sounds good. So this guy without a shield. Nope. Don't die on me. We don't really have any really good tanks just yet. It's a bit too early for that. Oh, nice! A one-shot. Perfect. I don't have to worry about that guy anymore. Alright, so this dude is using shield wall. Not much I can really do about that right now. Well, hey, I can try decapitate, but that's not going to work. And these fellas? That didn't quite work. Here, one down. Can you guys stop missing? That would be really appreciated. Don't die on me. Oh, he's fleeing. Is he? Yeah, he is. Nice. I think we mostly got this. Okay, that's not so great. He lost his helmet. He's trying to run away, but he's not doing a very good job at it. He's still not dead, really. Okay, only two guys are not running away. We got this. Bye bye. Let's finish this. Yep, it's over. This guy is running away now. There. We got it. Hopefully we'll get some nice gear. And experience. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can run him down just fine. Should be able to. Well, let's find out. It's not like he's a threat. Here, hopefully he will kill himself on our attack of opportunity. Yep. That should do. Oh, 
Yep, he's dead. Nice one. So, we got a level up. And what did we get here? We got a pretty nice helmet. We got some shields. Yeah, that's not too bad. I will definitely use that helmet. That is nice. Who is going to wear it? Well, let's use the level up first. Herman. Plus 3 molest skill. It is a little bit low, but oh well. I would say hit points. Well, no, let's get melee defense. And hit points. Just to keep him alive. And steel, bro. So, who's our best tank right now? Probably Gontram. And he's almost level 4. He's going to be the first level 4. So let's give him the helmet. It is quite a bit better than the one he was using currently. His armor is at zero. I might have to buy more tools for repairs. Okay, that looks fine. Let's go back and get paid, shall we? We got 37 tools and supplies. That should be enough for a while. But if I see them cheap somewhere, I will definitely buy them. Because the price can vary widely, depending on the situation in the town. 231. That's reasonable. Okay, I'll buy that. We can sell some of this junk. It's just taking space. I don't think I'll be needing the short bows. No, probably not. We can sell the more damaged peacocks. Okay, so that's almost 2500. Sell that armor. Now we could pick up the escort, if we want to. 1500. That is pretty tempting. He seems to be using a sword. If we pay 177, we can find out what traits he has. I think it will be better if we spend our money for weapons or armor. I think there was an armored smith somewhere around here. One of these towns had an armored smith, I don't quite remember which one. Weapon smith in this one. Armorer, right, so this one. Let's go there then. We can do the escort later. I want some better armor. We still need 12 men, but there's no huge rush. So, armorer. Let's see. Yeah, that's a pretty good price. 372. Lettered scale armor. That's too expensive. We can technically afford it, but let's not go overboard. Look at this one. 20,000. Yeah, that's a little bit expensive. Yeah, just a little bit. Alright, let's buy the armor. Definitely. And who's going to use it? Maybe this guy. Okay, sure. There you go. I don't think I have armor that's worse than 50 on anyone. Nope. What about recruits in this town? There's an archer. There's no guarantee he's any good though. Still, we could use one more archer or crossbowman. I might actually just try out. Alright, let's do that. Minus 5 resolve at negative morale checks. Good mode fades away faster. Plus 25 melee defense while retreating. And this guy doesn't have anything. I think I'll grab this guy. He's cheaper. I don't really care about melee defense while retreating all that much. And I don't like good mode fading away faster. Alright, let's grab him. 
hopefully he won't be terrible. Are you any good? 49 ranged skill and no stars in it. Yeah, he is not great. But I guess he will do for now. Two stars in fatigue, one in initiative, one in ranged defense. So at least that's not too bad, his range defense will be decent in the long run. I guess he could have been worse. Okay, we need two more dudes. Do we want to hire anyone here? Probably not, no. Do we want anything else from the armorer? We got 1600. 558. I'm going to grab that one. Seems reasonable. And we'll equip that on on Gontram. Like so. This one needs some repairs, but it will get repaired over time. Okay, looks reasonable. Okay, we're good. Let's move on. Let's check the contracts. What about this one? 550. Follow the tracks. And return the logbox. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do it. So, this way. Probably some thieves. Yep, thieves. Eight of them. Okay. A necromancer. Oh, I don't like that too much. But alright, let's do it. It would be nice to kill him quickly, but easier said than done. Yeah. Well, I'll try. But this could actually be a little bit tricky. I suppose we'll see. We definitely need to move forward. Yeah, we need to move forward. There's the Necromancer. I can't kill him easily. We can try to flank all of these dudes, but... There are eight of them. And ten of us. Kind of hard to flank like that. And once we kill some of them, the Necromancer will raise them as undead. Which is less than ideal, I would say. We'll see. Worst case scenario, we'll run away. Although, I would prefer to not have to run away. If I don't have to. Still, we need to be aggressive here. Otherwise, it will end poorly. Fortunately, these guys are pretty weak. So we should be fine. And we got some decent armor now. Come on. Okay, not too bad. He's bleeding and near dead. Let's move our range towards the Necromancer. That's probably the best and most reliable way to at least try killing him. Yep, our other guys can handle the thugs. One down. Okay, yep, so now we'll get an undead. That's fine. Oh yeah, our 200 guy is in trouble. Come on. I can't really move. Well, I mean, I can try, but I shouldn't. That didn't quite work, unfortunately. That didn't really work either. Once I kill the Necromancer, we'll be fine. But easier said than done. Okay, I can shoot him. What's our chance to hit? 16%, yeah, not very good. We need to get closer. Okay, Grimwald is in trouble. I'll try to help him. He has some okay armor, but not amazing.
I can try to push one of them with their shield. This might actually get rough. We almost got the undead. I think someone is going to die. Yeah, now the undead is buffed. I think. 60%. There we go. Okay, we hit him good. He is quite squishy, so it shouldn't be too hard to kill him. As long as we can hit. There, we got the undead. Nice. Yeah, Grimwald is in trouble. Not sure if I can really help him all that much. Let's break the shield. Like so. Okay, yeah, they are focusing on the other guy. Yeah, that didn't quite work either. Oh, we actually managed to move away. I think Wernhard is going to die. He is not very good, so that's not really a big deal. Kill the guy without the shield. Here, he's dead. Yeah, Wernhard is running away. He's probably going to die. Yep, he's dead. That's fine. He was kind of bad. Let's try to get the Necromancer. Okay, Necromancer. 60%. Yep, got him. Well, I mean, he's not dead, but he's gravely wounded now. We might be able to kill him on the next turn. That would be nice. We got the undead. Come on. Yep, another undead. That's fine. Let's break the shield. At least try. Great, now Grimwald is in range again. Shield wall. It is pretty rough. Only 30% chance to land a repel. I'll just try to move away. Yeah, that didn't quite work. We just need that necro. It will be fine once we kill the necro. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, he's fleeing. But now we might hit him instead of the necro, which is kind of bad. Well, I have to shoot him, at least with our crossbowman. Didn't have a lot of choice there. Nice one. Okay, so now Grimwald will be safe. Ish. We almost got the Necro. Is he bleeding? No, he's not bleeding. But he's almost dead. He will definitely be dead on the next turn. He has like one health left. Okay, yep, we lost another guy. That's fine. A lot of these guys are basically the cheapest brothers I could recruit because that's what you have to do at the start of the game. Shield wall. We aren't quite done yet. This is still going to be rough. Fights with necromancers are pretty hard, especially early on. Come on. This guy is fleeing, so don't have to worry about him anymore. Grimwald is also fleeing, but at least he's not dead. I'm okay with that. Got him, nice. No more undead for you. Come on now, can you stop missing? What's our chance to hit here? 38? Yeah, kind of bad. This guy is pretty bad. But better than nothing. Can't really expect a lot for 200 gold. Eighty-six percent. Here, got him. 
Let's use the Wardog. Didn't want to use him earlier because I didn't want him to get killed. But he should be fine now. Kill this guy, he's getting on my nerves. <laughs> we need to use the high ground. With our 200 dude. Move away. And we still got that undead over here. Okay. Wait, what? How are we getting more undead when the necromancer is dead? Uh, that's a bit weird, but okay. Nice one. Nope, not good enough. I hope we can win this one, I don't know. It's going to be rough. How are you doing? One dead, unharmed. Okay, that was a good one. Finally! We can ignore him now, he's running away. I kind of need Grimold here. He's at one health, literally. So he's going to die if something breathes in his general direction. But I kind of need the damage from him. Okay, shield wall for the defense. I don't want to fight next to the high ground, but I mean... I can't really move away either. <laughs> it's mostly these three guys that are going to be a problem. Herman is getting... Okay. Yeah, Herman needs help. Nope, that didn't quite work. Don't die on me, Herman. He is fine. He still has full health. And 55 armor. Let's try to break that shield. There we go, nice one. But Randolph is in trouble. I actually don't want to lose Randolph. Let's go to the high ground. But I can't move him because the undead will get an attack of opportunity if I try to move him. I don't want that. We can try and knock back. But I have to do that on the next turn. Here, that's a hit. Don't die on me, bro. He has 34 health. Right, yep, yeah, I can't move him because he can just die if I try that. He needs to stay and fight. Okay, looking good so far. I think we got this. Nope. Didn't work. I don't think we got this. It's just a matter of whether everyone is going to stay alive or not. Oh yeah, I can't attack. No fatigue. Come on. Better. It's just one enemy left, basically. Well, two enemies, actually. This guy doesn't count. He's already fleeing. Herman's helm is almost gone. Oh, I don't have any more ammunition left, really. Okay. Oh no, it's the fatigue problem. Ammunition is fine. There we go. We are pretty much done. Yeah, fatigue is getting really bad. One more hit, seriously, how hard can it possibly be? There we go, now we're done. Pretty much. Who's still alive and where? Oh, will we get an undead? I don't know, let's find out. Oh yeah, one guy was running away, that's fine. So we lost Wernhard and Ike. Yeah, that's fine. We got some level ups. And we got some loot. 
Okay, I'll take that, obviously. And let's go back and get paid. Yep. That's going to be 550. Could have been better. Yeah, they are dissatisfied. Oh, they want more variety in our food stocks. Fair enough. We can get more variety. I suppose we can afford it now. First, let's go back and actually get paid. Give me my money. Alright, fine. Uh, we need to wait until morning. Let's check the level ups. So, Gontram is level 4 now. One plus two melee skill. That's not quite good enough. Hit points. Fatigue. Okay, fine. I need to raise his weapon skill eventually. As for perks, he has Steel Bro already. He has Student. I could get Colossus. That's one option. What else? Shield Expert. That's definitely worth it. Yeah, Shield Expert is an obvious one, I guess. The knockback skill gains plus 15% chance to hit as well. Okay, shield expert it is then. Next up, Randolph. Weapon skill. Hit points. Let's actually get some resolve for him. Steel bro. Every tank needs that, basically. Next up, our crossbowmen. So, plus four weapon skill, good. Some initiative, although, hold on, I don't think he needs initiative all that much. Range defense, and let's get some health. As for perks, I'm thinking bullseye. That's a good one. Yep, bullseye it is then. Next up. 71 weapon skill, nice. Only plus 2 fatigue, not worth it. I'm actually thinking some initiative and resolve, maybe. Or health. He doesn't have any starts, so plus 4 health is nice. Okay, yeah, that will do. As for perks, he has student and colossus right now. Backstabber. The fatigue and the initiative penalty from wearing armor and helmet is reduced by 25%. Yeah, let's get that. That's a good one. Next, Grimold. Yeah, his weapon skill is really low. That kind of sucks. There was a perk here that helped with that. Which one was it? Fast adaptation. I normally wouldn't waste a perk for this, but I mean, this guy is going to be pretty useless otherwise. So, I think I'm going to grab that. Yeah, he's going to be useless otherwise. But this way he will gain plus 8% chance to hit with each attack that misses the opponent. Again, I normally wouldn't be wasting my perk for that, but he's going to be useless otherwise. His skills are just too low. Some fatigue. Some melee defense, and let's increase his skill. Okay, looks like that's it. And I need to wait until morning. And we need to go elsewhere to hire people. And we can pick up the escort once we hire someone. And we should get more food. With more variety. We only have ground grains right now. Okay, roots and berries. That will do. 208 for tools and supplies. That's pretty cheap. I'll grab those. We don't need arrows, do we? Well, I guess we kind of do. Do we have bolts? I don't think so. 
Okay, Quiver of Bolts. Who can we hire? Well, these guys might potentially be kind of useless, but I need more people. So, alright, let's grab this dude. Is he any good? Yep, he's okay. No starts in melee skill, but he has 61 to start with. Two starts in hit points, two starts in melee defense. Plus one vision during night time. Yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad at all. You need a shield, however. So, there you go. I don't have a better helmet for you. Uh, yes, I do, actually. Not much better, but slightly better. Alright, I guess he's going to be the tank replacement. Our morale is kind of bad. Might be a good idea to visit a tavern. If there is one in the area. I don't have a militia spear. I don't need the hatchet to break shields. I think second spear will be better than a cleaver for now. So there it is. Do we hire one more guy? Maybe. Okay, fine. Let's grab this dude. Are you any good? He's not amazing. He has a 50% lower chance to inflict friendly fire, okay. That's not super useful because he's definitely not going to be ranged. Builds up to 2 less fatigue for each tile traveled. That's not terrible. Alright, well, he is going to be a frontliner for now. With a hatchet. Dark Cowl, that's not really a good helm for a frontliner, but I mean, I don't have anything better right now. He might as well use it. Looks fancy. And it does that. So now we can maybe do that escort. Or anything else, really. This one is locked. Any interesting gear? Not here. We do have a weapon smith. But I'm a little bit low on money at this point. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.